This solution build is really OP, guys. Let's first start off with the items that you're going to want to build. You're going to go Storm Razor, IE, Stasis, or you could do Proto Belt. I like personally running the red boots. Next, you're going to want to get Black Cleaver, Guardian's Angel, and Grudge. You could get the grudge before the GA if you want and I'm pretty sure I actually do this in the gameplay as well what's really fantastic about this build is you do a bunch of damage and you're pretty tanky at the same time next with the runes you got a lot you got a lot of options okay you can run conqueror or kraken slayer kraken slayer I would say is a lot stronger in lane compared to conqueror but conqueror and team fights could be a little bit better because you're going to be able to do a lot more damage uh, but I think kraken slayer definitely does a lot more in the laning phase next up you can go hunter vampirism or brutal if you want a lot of early game power then I definitely recommend brutal but if you want to scale a bit more into the later game then you could definitely go hunter vamp because you don't have any healing with this build Next up, you can go Adaptive Carapace or Hunter Titan or even Bone Plating, really. The green runes, you could really go kind of whatever suits the situation, but I recommend these two runes. Now, lastly, I really recommend Hunter Genius. This ability gives you haste, which is super, super key with Lucian because you want to reset your abilities as soon as possible in order to output as much damage as quickly as possible. Now, for the spells, I recommend going Exhaust and Flash. I think this is the best set of combo that you can go. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't really recommend anything else. Now, with this, guys, let's hop into this gameplay because I drop 16 kills and a Penta. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, make sure to like and sub and tell me what you guys would like to see in the next video. Guys, this was a pretty sick Lucian gameplay that I ended up getting. I'm getting back into making videos, so... Yeah, the, so since I'm getting back into making videos, I kind of messed up this 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 recording because it didn't capture the gameplay audio, which sucks. But it's such a good game, gameplay that I felt like I should show you that I should show you guys anyway. So uh, I am playing with Goofy in this game, and we are playing Lucian Thresh into Vayne Karma. Now, personally, Karma does a really good job at countering Thresh in lane because of the barrier in the beginning of the game basically counters all of Thresh's early game damage and aggression but Lucian is very effective at at shutting down Vayne in the early game because Vayne is very weak and Vayne wants to scale and what Lucian wants to do is play very aggressive right here Thresh lands a pull forcing the Karma's flash out and I decide to do a little bit of some burst damage once I get level 2. Now the trade wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be because I slid a little too far back. Um, so I didn't get my double auto onto Vayne, but right here we actually land a great combo yet again, getting that Vayne very low. I let the Thresh take the fruit because I'm running Hunter Genius anyway, so I don't really benefit from the this the fruit anyways. So right here I decide to shove in the wave because there's not much we could do, especially with our jungler being down here. So we decide that we could either camp this bush, these bushes, and catch them on uh, catch him off guard but this is a really bad idea we should have just reset it and and the reason for it is like i said our our gragas which is our jungler is at the top side of the map so it just makes sense for their jungler to be down here but we did see vi pop up on the mini map that she that she is top side so we decided to stay here but it's like we wasted so much time that we could have been full hp like if goofy and i just reset it we would be full hp with our items but instead we're kind of just stalling the wave and just kind of burning some time but since uh it kind of looks like they recall or it looks like the vein resetted the karma 100 percent resetted but but the vein didn't so the vein ended up staying and capturing the wave so it was like not the super perfect like type of wave management that you would have wanted because we didn't reset but uh i st i stay in base to get uh another component for my item and now i'm pretty strong i have my bf sword i got my dagger which means i get a little bit more attack speed uh so we actually can punish oh guys look at this oh my god these guys try to gank this tf and they use two ultimates but like they do it so poorly that it's so funny so now we have really high kill potential because i am playing lucian with thresh so thresh rants a fantastic pull onto the vein that really just secures it plus with my exhaust there's literally nowhere for that vein to go especially since we uh just basically 
if Thresh lands this CC, I'm going to be able to do enough follow-up damage. Now, this TF, I don't know what he was doing down here, but he should have not came here because he just died. Perfect flash by me. Barely getting it out of that Karma ult. Now, I'm pretty ballsy by dashing right on top of the Empowered Karma uh, Q ability. But, yeah, I, I mean, that was pretty ballsy of us. But, uh, we obviously have to recall. Now, the good part is here, I got two stacks of my Hunter Vamp and my Hunter Genius. Which means I have some more, I have, I have a good amount of cooldown reduction going on. And, and, uh, I get a little bit more AD from the hunter van and you know obviously some healing too so it's really good so that's why like when you're playing lucian with these hunter runes and you get a bunch of kills you're literally going to be unstoppable because you're going to scale so quickly especially if you get these kills earlier on uh like look at that guys oh my god <laughs> guys is it that hard to gank freaking is it really that hard to gank uh a TF like he literally has no movement and you're playing Ari Gragas, but you know what? It's okay Anyways, Vayne decides to tumble in and just really just kill herself And the cool part about this play guys that made that made made it look so cool is Vayne condemned me into the Thresh Lantern So I was able to just take the Lantern and and just go in onto the vein uh, so right here we're obviously just going to be doing turret damage. Also, Dragon is going to be spawning soon. So you want to make sure we get a, a, a timely reset. But we are able to get the uh, the first tower, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and obviously, I'm super fed. So the game has really opened up pretty, pretty big here, right? Because we got a turret. Now I'm going to be super powerful coming into this, this Dragon fight that... I mean, basically, the game should just snowball from here. And I do decide to take the, the red buff uh, before going to the dragon because uh, it's just going to make me a little bit more powerful. Um, and yeah, so I end up taking it. And it's not even like they're, they're trying to really contest this dragon. So I'm just capturing the uh, little minions here that I have. Uh, the Vi ends up trading for for a uh, dragon for rift herald which is smart because if they if if i tried to contest dragon we would just kill her so right here i'm gonna recall because there's nothing really down here on the bottom side of the map for me to do so i'm gonna just shop really quickly and we're gonna try to go for the top turret so a nice little strategy is once you uh, snowball your lane you want to just swap lanes to the other side and try to uh kind of push your lead because once you're super fed you, you got to push your lead so right here we luckily have one cannon minion so it's it's in our best it's our best option to try to push and get as much as we can with it vi is kind of in a weird spot and that was a beautiful pull by thresh locking down the vi uh tf does come in here i exhaust him because i thought maybe there would be an angle to go on him but man dude karma does so much damage for support that it's actually ridiculous and we end up trading two for two, which was not the best there. But I did end up getting two more stacks of my for my hunter runes, which means they're pretty strong right now. So that means I have a lot of cooldown reduction, more AD, and a little bit more uh, healing. Since since in this Lucian build, there is no you don't get any healing. You're not building Bloodthirster or 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 Bork, so you're not going to get any of that healing. That's why it's really important to stack this the hunter vamp rune. Um, but yeah, so I decide to recall and I think I start running straight to mid. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, when, when you're coming out of base, you want to look for opportunities around the map. And I just see that there's CS, uh, there's a lot of minions down below that I could go get. Um, but it ends up like my team is trying to get a pick into mid. I see this TF here and it's like, I could just force on him, but then the vein was there. So I decided to flash away. Now, maybe I didn't need a flash, but you know, it's, it's always good to react with flash because sometimes you don't want to have the issue where you're trying to not, you, like, you're trying to greed your flash. But, man, TF was ended up kind of sitting right there. The fact that the D TF uh, dodged my Q, I was a little worried I was going to die there. What I should have done in that situation was once I used my E, I should have Q'd right away instead of Wing. Uh, you, you just want to make sure you don't miss that Q damage. It's very important to land that Q because it does a lot of damage. It, it's super strong too so right here i'm running straight to kind of like the blue buff because 
Um, with certain type of ADC champions, you can clear jungle really fast. Like Lucian, Jinx, Kai'Sa. These are champs that clear jungle creeps really fast. And this will actually allow you to push your lead. Unfortunately, oh my god, I can't believe that Gromp healed, bro. I cannot believe I cannot believe it healed, man. That's super tilting. But anyways, right here, I see Wukong. And to be honest, I think the Wukong was underestimating my damage output. Because he kind of just... I don't know. He kind of just killed himself there. Uh, I'm not sure if he could have lived. But um, yeah, he kind of just killed himself. So right here, this Vi caught me off guard. Like, I did not expect him to, to flash on me like that. So that's why I wasn't spacing the Vi properly, right? So I know how far Vi could go with her dash. But... I was not expecting her to, to, to flash like that, so I ended up dying like that, which was kind of sad, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What makes someone a really god tier ADC player is like how good your spacing is when it comes to these melee champions, and obviously, right there, it was bad because I was in range, and yeah, it was really bad. But that is my only death of this game, which is the nice thing about it. So right here, sadly, with what happened topside, we ended up losing this turret bot because there is no one defending it since we were all topside heavy. So I ended up just clearing these minions uh, in the next wave and really just getting ready for, for maybe even Rift Herald because Rift Herald is the only objective on the map. So it, it's in my best interest to make sure I am there for that fight. Uh, so I decided to go through River. Uh, they do have the scuttle, but it's honestly the fastest way to get there. And with Thresh's Lantern, it is easier to get in these fights. So what I have to do in these fights is keep my distance, really. Um, and so right here, I see TF, so I just hop on him right away. But I end up having to disengage with a perfect ultimate from my part and forcing them to take all the damage. And right here, oh my god, the stasis is so clean, guys. Sadly, the freaking Vi lives, but... You know, it is what it is. Per uh, that was a really good flay, so I didn't need to use my dash so I could do a little bit more damage. And sadly, the Vi lives. Um, but yeah, dude, that was actually super clean stasis for me. But I mean, maybe it wasn't necessary. I think my RE actually died from me stasising, but you know, I, I just didn't want to die myself. So maybe I should have eaten, I should have eaten that and then stasis. I'm not sure, but it was still kind of clean to... To, to pull off so right here we're, we're we're starting to path back into this infernal fight uh and really position for the infernal dragon and right here i tried to get some damage down onto this tf but he's kind of out of my range so it was really risky for me to dash like that and i definitely shouldn't have dashed like that so the awkward part is really getting in position to 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 have a strong team fight right here because they could easily look to engage on us with a yellow card but the enemy team seemed really afraid um, which I think was interesting that they didn't contest at all. And the Vi really wants to trade for the... Or is going for the uh, Rift Herald. Because, you know, she wants to make sure that their team gets an objective. But we we got the Dragon so fast that we're able to position for this. Right here, I kind of dashed prematurely. And I want to look to do damage over this wall. But I'm really not in the in the best spot to really do much. We end up getting the karma, and I actually filled my my wall jump. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to burn the the rift herald. But she ended up getting the rift herald and flashing out, and I was like, dude, what the hell? So yeah, this was kind of an awkward fight. I could have done a lot more. The vein decides to come a little bit back in. I exhaust Vi immediately, so we keep staying into this fight. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the enemy team is just trying to disengage, but we end up getting the, the vein and we do catch out Wukong here um, and end up getting the kill on Vi, did recall. So so right there, it, it wasn't the worst, but it actually wasn't the best because I am the, the hyper carry of this team and I need to make sure I do as much damage as possible. And in that team fight, I really just didn't. I mean, I did a good job of bursting the karma, but other than that, I really didn't do anything. And plus, I kind of leashed the Rift Herald for the Vi to take. Um, I reset here, which wasn't the smartest recall because Vi could end up taking the mid turret, but luckily my team was in position. So guys, just make sure when you are resetting, you don't like lose a turret off of it because that could have been really bad. And it looks like they actually did place the Rift Herald um, to try to get the mid turret. So I'm wondering, yeah, I, I don't think... Okay, so, so Vi did end up getting the mid turret. Uh, but right here, I take the blue buff. The blue buff's really nice just to make sure I don't lose any, uh, don't lose out on energy during any team fights. Um, 
I ended up clearing that top wave and I'm just going to try to clear some more uh, camps, uh, more jungle creeps because this will allow me to get more XP and more gold and just really keep my lead growing uh, throughout the game. So right here I start the Baron because uh, we see Vayne on the bottom side of the map but it wasn't actually really that smart because I actually ended up getting my HP chunked. So I decided to take this Scuttle so I could heal up but... I mean, it's okay. Gragas did, did take it, but I mean, I have a lot of a lot of physical healing, uh, physical vamp. So right here, I try to chunk this Vi, um, since I did use my dash, and boom, would you guys see that? My dash is back up so fast. Um, and right here, I really want us to look for picks with, like, we have Ari and Gragas, like, and it just doesn't, it seems so hard to find picks sometimes. But right here, my Garen is trying to really start a team fight, which I do appreciate, um, and right here, I just have to kite. Sadly, my, my colon goes on to TF for some reason, which was not who I wanted it to go on. Uh, I ended up bursting the vein, and I had to flash onto the karma, and boom. What I should have done right there was I should have exhausted vein, I think, to be honest, just to make sure I was a little healthier, or at least used it during the team fight. I could have used it on something, um, to be honest. Maybe maybe even Wukong, when Wukong was really far up. Um but yeah, we ended up winning that team fight and and ended up getting the mid inhib, which really opens up the game for us. And and yeah, this is really huge. Do not forget that you guys saw me feel that jump. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Sometimes I'm weird with the jumps. I I, I mess it up sometimes. Um and I jump too early. That's why I realized with Lucian sometimes I, I I jump too early, so I end up just ramming myself into the wall, um, which could get yourself killed. But yeah, so as you guys could see, I ended up going grudge instead of GA because like I just want to build pure damage. Like I'm super tanky. I don't need to really worry about dying at all. Um, since I really do have a good front line. I mean, I have Gragas, Garen, Thresh. I mean, Gragas isn't really super, super tanky because he is AP Gragas, but um, my, my Thresh and Garen are pretty tanky. So right here, I'm just trying to make sure I get in good position for this fight. And I instantly burst the Vi, and the Vi was the fed uh, person on the team. I end up killing Wukong and use my ultimate to take out Karma. And I decide to exhaust the TF and keep chasing. So boom, Quadra kill. Can I get the freaking Penta, guys? Will I get the Penta? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. The power of Thresh right here. Get me this Penta, baby. And I got it. The power of Lucian. Lucian's one of the best ADCs right now. So I recommend you guys to give Lucian a try, especially with this build. And let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.